I'm sure you've probably seen my video. Three uh, defects, one great. Uh, let me let me dwell on the, the defects. You know, when you got a finger, your teeth, and your nose, when it's defective, uh, you know. I mean, I hope my mom. Too, when my mom was sick, there's a couple things that really went against me. My mom had. And I hope my mom never blame. It's not my. Hope my mom never blames herself. It's nothing she did wrong. She couldn't help it. When she was a kid, she had bad scarlatina. In case you don't know what that is, that's characterized by high fever. She's very sick when she was a kid. Then polio. My uh, uncle Arlie suffered bad. We got an old picture of him a year before he died. The picture was taken in 1934. He was all swiveled up. Uh, poor, you tell he's really cute, 16. He was a cute looking boy, but he's all shriveled up. I don't see how the boy is smiling. You know he had to be hurting pretty bad or miserable. But anyway, I think that gene in the family is carried off. And get all this noisy traffic out of the way. And uh, I think it's caused the, the, the uh, defect finger, teeth, and nose. Do I think it's affected by other parts of my body? Yeah, uh, what's that male thing? I can't even pronounce it. You know what I'm talking about. Impotence. Can't even say that. Ain't that awful? Ep oh, boy, I swear. Ain't that awful? Can't even pronounce it. You know what I'm talking about. Uh... Oh boy, I tell you, I swear to God, impudence. Ain't that awful? Came right now. You know what I'm saying. Do I get angry when I dwell on it? All this. Yeah. At times, if you're around me, I seem a little grumpy. Another loyal viewer, I guess. If I'm a little grumpy at times, you're around me, and you know already this. You already, your your knowledge is already on this. Uh, you, I'm sure you'll overlook me. I get sometimes when I dwell on it, I get grumpy. Do I think there's more wrong than what the doctor let on? Yeah. I think. See, legal. Oh yeah, that tell you everything, right? Oh, there's a, there's a ways for them around it. When I was at church, I was, I've always sweated like crazy. And everybody at church said, Greg, get yourself to a doctor. You're, everybody's telling me, you sweat. You're just sweating too much. We've never known any. This one lady said, I'm 60 years old, and I've never known anybody sweat as bad as you. We're worried about you. So I went to the Bethesda North here 12, 13 years ago. And I had to go over there. They ran a scan. I went to my doctor. Now, when you ain't got any shirts, they, they half look at you. You know, they're not making the money on you. Anyway, I told her, I said, I, I'm here in your doctor's office. And I was a little grumpy because all, I have, I've had 30 church members tell me to get my butt to a doctor. You're sweating too much. And uh, Denise is my doctor. I won't give her a last name, female doctor. I said, I'm just, I mean, I'm, I was forced to come here. You know, they said, get yourself to, you're sweating too much. So I told her that. So she sent me over here to uh, Bethesda North to get a scan. It's on my thyroid. One thing I noticed when they was, a lady, a technician was doing the scan. I was laying down. When she got about right here, I noticed she was, she was looking at the monitor. And when she got right, she had a wand in her hand. When she got right here, I noticed she had a gently, I'm going to use the word, gently hard time. She was really gently scraping, like digging. Huh. I, 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 I kind of question her real quick. So I said, what is it? She said, oh, nothing or something. She, she mumbled something. But I, she did have a little gentle keyword, gentle time when she scanned Using that wand. I just think it's something that they can't do for me. I don't know. But I think it's affected me several ways. I really do. Oh, well. Mathematics tells me if you got three defects, odd law of average says you're going to have more. Maybe minor, maybe major. But I was... Uh, Went through an examination book one time. 
in the mill area, if you get my drift. So take a flashlight and shine behind each one. You know what I'm talking about. And light would penetrate through one. So I went to the doctor, and he said, you're fine. I said, well, hell, the book, I mean, if, if, you, if you can't see the light through, through it, a little transparency, they, they call it a condition. No, I didn't have no insurance, so there again. But, you know, he was a young doctor. I'm just going by the book. That's some years ago. But I think it's affecting me more than three ways. I, I do. Oh, well. Impudence. What? Man, I mean, you're talking about a blooper. Imp, impudence. What can I say that word? Dang, gone. Any other day I could say it. Impudence. What can I say that? You know what I'm talking about. Technically speaking, I actually got four defects. Technically speaking, I'm left-handed. Might as well be in Vegas and lose some, huh? See, at times, I dwell on it. I can get pretty damn hateful. But it's nothing you did. Just overlook me. Not all the time. Maybe every four or five months, three, four or five months, I'll get a little, I'll get a little hateful. And you don't want to be around me when I get grumpy. You know, I'm, I'm the king of horrible tempers. And not, you know, just, just something you have to live with. Makes for a hard life. Don't think it don't.